Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through using Zapier Loops, an advanced feature for splicing your data and creating multiple entry items for things like Notion databases. For this example, we're gonna use my AI note taker Circleback, which creates action items from every call it records and have each item added as a separate to-do in my task database. Let's pop over to my computer and I'll walk you through the setup. So what we're going to do first is look through what the Zapier workflow looks like. Circleback does not have a true API key yet, which means we need to use the webhooks by Zapier feature. It sounds overwhelming, but I tell you, as someone who has never built any custom APIs, this setup maybe took me 20 minutes, and it was more because I was trying to figure out where things were instead of just reading the instructions. So what you're first gonna wanna do is set up that webhook by Zapier, so you just type in webhooks and it pulls up and then we're going to create a catch hook so this is kind of a ghost api in a way um, whereas an api key does all of this work that we're setting up automatically just by linking that key together so once you've set that up what we're going to do is add in our endpoint within our circle back settings under webhook and then you're going to click save so that basically acts as the API. So next, what we want to do is create a loop line. So how we want to set up our looping is first creating the action item. So we want to create loop from line items. That's going to be our event. And then within the action itself, we need to name the values to loop. In the data fields, Circleback calls it the action item. So that's what we want to use is action items. And then the actual data that we're going to loop is the title of the action items. So you can just pick that from the drop down there. And then we want the counter to start at one and the maximum number is 500. And then we're going to hit continue and we are going to test it. Now at this specific point, it is going to be doing this for every single action item that comes up, whether it's for you or the individuals that were in that meeting as well. And so then we have a filter and this has been super helpful for me, um, is that I only have this moving forward in Notion if the assignee is myself and then if it is not specific meeting notes. So if I'm having a coffee chat with somebody, I don't need there to be action items 90% of the time. And chances are most of those calls, I don't even allow Circleback to join the call. I usually just decline it when it tries to join the meeting, but you can add that in here. So if you don't want to um, kind of pick and choose where you're at, you can always put it in here just to decline those calls and then we're going to continue that filter and as you'll see here the test data that I chose was a coffee chat and so it is not going to continue however if it does um, then we want it creating a database item in notion obviously adding in our account and then the tasks. Now what I have it doing is adding every line item into my task database, titling it the name of the call and then the action item title. So that way I know exactly where this action item came from. If I need to go back and review that call and know, okay, was this actually an action item or can I delete it if I'm unsure? I also have it tagging it as a very specific status. So instead of saying haven't started or not started whatever your kind of pre-trigger is within your statuses i actually have a specialty one where i use the trigger called meeting action item so it's its own filtered area inside notion for or rather inside my task database in notion so i know exactly which ones i need to review and then put them into the real tasks uh, status is right of not started. So I mentioned this in my circle back versus Firefly's ultimate fighter video, which I'll put up here if you haven't seen it, is that I don't think that this is a perfect setup. This is going to tag everything, only picks up what it thinks is action items, right? So it may tag something as an action item where you just said, hey, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually a task you need to follow up on. And so like I mentioned in that video, I would rather have more things here that I need to review or decline or delete rather than wonder, oh shit, did I get all of the tasks that I needed to do? So after it's been entered in here, I just wanna show you what my task database looks like. This is a filtered view of all of the um, meeting action items that have been added 
probably in the last week. But you can see here that these tasks were a strategy session that I had. Um, so create property and category view for Shelby. So what I can do is I can go ahead and tag my client here. So I know that that is a task and I will tag it now as not started. And so I just go through these. Um, usually, you know, like I said, I kind of go through week by week, but they really add up, especially I'm in, I'm in about eight to 10 hours a week of client calls. And so I try to stay on top of this as best I can, but I think that it's so helpful and it really allows you to make sure that you are taking action after the fact. And actually that leads me to the last point. This is too much for you, but you really want to use circle back. There's actually a built-in action items feature within their database. So as you can see here, this is actually all of the, um, action items that it pulled and I can simply check these off and it will delete them as they go. But then you can also click delete rather than checking them off if it's not actually um, important. You can also filter if it's done. You can filter um, any task that was not you, um, if it's anyone else. And of course, too, you know, you can obviously ship these meeting notes to anyone that joined that call and they can take those actions as they've been assigned as well. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to join our squad.